Hello. Hello to my students, no? Hopefully loud and clear. Uh, pasensya na kayo, no? Sa slides natin for today kasi uh, hindi ko talaga dapat to i-record. Pero dahil may mga nag-message sa akin na hindi pa sila makapasok dun sa Google Classroom natin. So, at least yung lesson na i-discuss natin for later, no? Mamayang, mamayang umaga ay hindi natin, uh, ano tawag dito, hindi nila mabimiss. So, at least pwede nilang balikan. So, after nitong discussion na to, uh, it's an introduction to the financial markets, uh, mga 22 slides to. Uh, there will be a quiz na lalabas doon sa Google Classroom natin. And then, we will be meeting no live after. So, may link din na lalabas after. So, this is a one and a half, a one and a half hour class. So, siguro mga hopefully 45 minutes lang to. No? So, pasensya na kayo kung medyo boring. Uh, at hindi ganun masyado maraming images. So, ginawa natin to last minute in order for our, ano no, sa mga classmates nyo na mahira, nahihirap ang makakonek. At at least, pwede nyo rin tong i-review every now and then. So, i-upload ko rin tong material after the presentation. So, lalabas din siya dun sa Google Classroom natin. Okay, so ni outline. The outline is what are the financial markets. We will define the financial markets. What are the money and capital markets? What is a stock market and stock exchange? What is the over-the-counter market? What are the advantages of the stock market? And who are the players in the stock market? So later, no, explain natin na hindi lang naman stock market yung meron. Pero we will be focusing first sa stock market. Kasi hopefully, ginawa nyo assignments nyo. Uh, napanood nyo isang video natin, no? How to earn sa stock market and uh, ano yung mga equity funds na available. And kapag open ka na ng virtual, virtual ha? Take note, virtual <laughs> na stock, uh, ano ba? Online stock trading account, no? Through Investagram. So, libre lang siya. May nagtanong sa akin kanina uh, o last week, no? Na okay lang po ba, sir, na hindi yung tunay na name yung ginamit ko. Okay lang. Basta ma-prove mo sa akin, ma-screenshot mo na ikaw talaga yun. No? Hindi ka kumuha ng ibang pangalan. So again, it's free. Go to investagrams.com and start trading. So meron tayong contest no, sa class natin. So discuss na lang natin yun pag live na. Okay. So what are uh, what are financial markets? So this is defined by investopedia.com. So sabi dito, financial markets refer broadly to any marketplace where the trading of securities occur. So including the stock market, bond market, forex market, and derivatives market, among others. So nandiyan din ang crypto market, uh, ano pa bang mga market, no? Uh, yun. So financial markets are vital to the smooth op operation of cap capitalist economies. So anything pala na nagbebentahan ng securities no na nagbebentahan ng stock ng bonds o ng forex this uh, is called a financial market so iba ang real estate market kasi ang binibenta doon di ba bahay condo pero when we talk about uh, money when we talk about uh, shares of stock na alam mo na convertible to money yun pala ay financial market okay so take note dahil kasama sa quiz yun no ano yung financial market okay so Ito namang data na to galing to sa Investors Primer 1 ng the Philippine Financial Market, galing to sa Philippine Stock Exchange Incorporated. So, ito definition. So, what are the money and capital markets? So, financial markets uh, dito sa Philippines no, are classified into the money market and the capital market. So, itong money market is where short-term funds are raised through the buying and selling of short-term debt securities such as commercial papers. Okay, uh, naiintindihan ko kung bago ka lang sa, sa investing. Pero dapat tinake up nyo na to, no? kung mga accounting students kayo, more or less, siguro na daanan na to before. Pero kung bago ka lang, uh, absorb mo lang, absorb mo lang, wag kang, wag kang ma-overwhelm, uh, go through the process, didiscuss natin to sa live class. So, minsan maraming mga jargon dyan, no? pero madali lang lahat yan, simple lang yung mga yan. Okay, the capital market naman is where long-term funds are raised through the bond market, which deals with long-term long-term debt securities such as bonds and the stock market which deals with equity securities or stocks okay so mas mas explain lang natin ng konti so pag sinabing money market ang isipin mo lang palagi sa money market short term ibig sabihin less than a year less than a year maturity short term ano yung mga example nito sa pagpunta ka sa bangko siguro narinig niyo na time deposit no ang time deposit ay higher saving interest na na account pero guaranteed Pero again, it's lower than inflation and uh, siguro ngayon, kung di ako nagkakamali, less than 1% ang time deposit. O kung di ako nagkakamali, 2%, uh, 
kasi nga may mga bonds na sobrang baba pa no na sa mga 1.75 ata ang return. Okay. Pag long term, ang concept, ang mindset, uh, ito naman yung capital market. So, ano example ng long term na capital market? Nandun yung bond market or yung stock market. So, malamang sinisip mo, sir, kayo nakapasabi ng sabi ng bond at stocks. Ano ba pinagkaiba? Okay, ang bond ay utang. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Complicated pakinggan, pero ang bond ay utang. So, sa sa isang organized na market o sa uh, sa atin na later di discuss natin isan ba yung market na yon no uh, pag nagpapautang ang gobyerno uh, ang tawag doon ay ano nga ba treasury bonds no uh, pag long term pag short term ang tawag doon ay treasury bills okay pag less than one year ang maturity tawag doon treasury bills ang nagpapautang gobyerno okay pag more than one year uh, treasury bonds okay so sana hindi mo naka, uh, hindi, hindi yun ganun nakakalito okay so, pwede rin magpautang maliban sa gobyerno ay mga companies. Okay? May, uh, pero normally, ang pinapautang na, ang inuutang ng companies, hindi yun mga short term, no? Kaya tawag dito corporate bonds. Okay? So, ano yung mga example ng company na umuutang? So, uh, makikita natin, no, sa, sa history, ang San Miguel ay umuutang uh, para mas makabili. Bakit sila umuutang? Kasi, uh, uh, sige, bakit sila umuutang? Kasi they want to expand. Pwede mag-expand sila to further uh, uh, grow their business or pwedeng magbabayad din sila na meron silang mga utang no uh, na higher interest pero because of a lower interest environment ibig sabihin mababang interest environment eh uutang sila ngayon uutang sila ngayon sa bond market para bayaran yung mga high interest okay tas magbabayad sila ng mas low interest okay so so medyo complicated yon pero uh, may halong economics no pero di-discuss natin yan pag nandoon na tayo sa uh, sa live class no para at least mas maayos example okay ang stock market naman pinaka ang pinakaiba niya sa bond market kung ang bond ay utang ang stock ay ownership okay so kung meron kang stock ng San Miguel ikaw ay owner ng San Miguel. So, part of our discussions in the future, we'll be talking about ano ba, may mga different kinds of stocks din. So, may preferred, may common, uh, yan, meron pa, meron pang mga examples yan. Pero as of now, uh, para hindi ka lang malito, no? sorry, medyo excited ako no? <laughs> when discussing, ang dami ko pinagsasabi. Ang bond market ay utang, umuutang sila. Pag stock market ay meron kang ownership. So, pinag natin sa accounting, di ba? Pag chinect mo yan sa balance sheet, ano ba yung composition ng balance sheet, di ba? Assets is equal to liabilities plus equity or uh, capitalization o equity. Okay, so when you look at it, ang company, dalawa yung way niya, di ba, to sa alam ko capital investment class nyo to diniscuss no uh, cap, uh, dun sa dalawa yung way niya to capitalize either uutang siya which is the bond no or uh, magbebenta siya ng shares niya which is the stock do so minsan syempre yung companies they don't want to uh, give out more shares or give out more stocks kasi nawawala nadadilute yung ownership no yung control especially kung meron dun na major stockholder at then uh, gusto niya kasi uh, controlled pa rin yan no? kung ano mangyayari sa companies uh, sa company niya kasi syempre pag nadadilute yung ownership niya for example lang no uh, 50% 51% uh, ang ownership niya so ibig sabihin lahat ng decision kahit ano sabihin ng iba dahil may 51% siyang voting rights eh ka, yung decision niya ay masusunod okay pero syempre pag kailangan pa nila ng pera ang gagawin niya uy bibenta ko na lang siguro yung 30% share ko pa Diba? So, may matitira sa kanya, 21 na lang. So, pwedeng ma-buy out, no? pwedeng, pwedeng yung iba yung masunod kasi uh, pag nabenta yun. Kumita siya, short term, pero pwedeng matake over yung company. So, discuss na lang natin yan pag live na. Pero kaya yung iba, nagbabond na lang. So, okay lang kahit medyo mataas ng konting interest o mag-buy daw ko ng interest or kung uh, low interest environment, mababang interest. Uh, at least after kung bayaran yung utang ko, tapos na. Wala silang pagmamayari ng kumpanya ko. Okay? So, money market, short term. Capital market long term. Ano yung types ng uh, makikita natin sa capital market, bond market, and stock market? Sa money market, nandiyan yung mga time deposit, nandiyan yung mga T-bills, no? treasury bills. Okay, sana hindi pa kayo nalilito at sana okay lang. Okay, what are the primary and secondary markets? So, kanina diniscuss natin uh, money market and capital market. Ngayon naman, primary and secondary market. Okay, basically it is in the capital market called, uh, called the stock market where an investor can buy and sell stocks. So, this market consists of the primary or secondary market depending on whether the securities were sold by the company itself or by an existing shareholder. So, wag muna kayo malito. Okay, so, sabi dito sa stock market, no? 
uh, depende kailan siya binenta. Pwede yun tawag doon primary market or pwede siyang secondary market. Okay, so medyo boring. Basahin ko lang, no? In the primary market, new shares are issued and sold to the investing public for the first time. Okay, so pag primary market first time, it is where capital is, is actually raised by the company, selling stock directly to investors, typically through an initial public offering. So very important word, initial public offering, IPO. So ito yung first time na magbibenta sila ng stocks nila. So for instance, if San Miguel Corporation decides to sell a new stock, to raise equity funds, it will be a primary market transaction. Since it is the first time the company has sold stock to the public, it is called an initial public offering. The proceeds of the sale go to San Miguel Corporation, the issuing company. Uh, investors who have subscribed to the IPO have provided the company with the necessary funds to continue its operation and expansion and become part owners of the company. So during an IPO pala, ibig sabihin kung si San Miguel ay hindi pa siya first time niya no na magbebenta magbebenta sa public ng shares of stock niya ang tawag doon initial public offering so magiging public company na siya kasi before sabi natin si San Miguel ang may-ari lang niyan sino ba sino ba may-ari niyan ng San Miguel si Ramon ang uh, kuwang ko ba may-ari alam mo yung halimbawa uh, ano lang sila uh, isang pamilya lang five five na stock uh, holders no Tapos sabi nila, okay, kailangan natin ng pera because we want to expand and to continue our operation. Tapos uh, alam natin, pwede natin ibenta yung shares natin uh, sa accounting. Dahil accounting naman kayo, no? yung, yung course nyo. Uh, sabi natin yung par value niya, 1 peso per share. Di ba? 1 peso lang. Pero pag in-IPO natin to or initial public offering natin to hindi natin bibenta lahat. Bibenta lang natin 20% ng total shares na meron tayo. Eh, pwede pala natin ibenta ng 100 per share. So, ganun, di ba? Yun ang sekreto na may yaman. Piso, bibenta nilang 100, tumubo sila ng 99. Bakit? Kasi naniniwala yung public eh na, uy, by 100 pesos, part owner na pala ako ng company. And I will be part of the growth of that company. Na in the future, eh pwede kong ibenta. Ah, so, hindi pa pala yun yung next slide. Okay, so, an underwriter or investment banker assist the issuer of a new security in setting the offering price and in mark getting the securities to the public. So the investment banker serves as a middleman in the transfer of funds between the company in need of capital and the public and facilitates the issuance of shares. There's occasionally a secondary offering in the primary market. This means that the shares of stock being offered were previously issued but is being offered to the public for the first time by a large or controlling shareholder. As such, the selling stockholder gets the proceeds of the sale. Okay, so during a primary market, uh, merong nagbebenta no may may nagbebenta nung securities na to ito yung mga nag kumaga nagro-road show sila gumagawa sila ng advertisement tawag bili kayo ang tawag doon yung underwriter so itong mga underwriter na to or investment banker so uh, minsan makikita kayo uh, for example may 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 stock niya no sino yung underwriter niyan makikita mo minsan PNB BDO investment BDO capital ba video investment minsan makikita mo uh, sino pa BPI uh, RCBC. So, may part ng banko na na yung mga malaking banko, commercial banks, no? commercial international banks, ba tawag doon, na ang tawag sa kanila underwriter. No? So, yung nag-facilitate doon. So, kailangan natin tandaan sa primary market, ang nagbibenta, yung mismong company. Tapos, bibenta yung shares nila based doon sa IPO price o initial public offering price and then makukuha nila yung pera na yun, nagagamitin nila for expansion or to continue their operation. Okay. So, pag ako naman, bumili ako. For example, bumili ako during that IPO, 100 pesos. Tapos, after 2 years o 3 years, eh, naging 200 pesos na siya, binenta ko siya sa iba. Ako yung tumubo. Diba? Yun ang secondary market. So, the secondary market is where securities can be bought and sold after they have been issued to the public in the primary market. Thus, if you decide to buy existing shares of San Miguel Corporations, you cannot buy them directly from the issuing company anymore since they have all been sold to the investing public during the initial public offering. So how can you avail of San Miguel shares when the IPO has been completed? Investors can only buy these shares from existing shareholders who are willing to sell their shares. Okay, When they do so, it is a secondary market transaction because the proceeds from this transaction does not go to the issuing corporation. Instead, they go to the investor who sold his share. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung ako, nabenta ko na yung shares of stock na yun, na 
worth sabihin natin yung one share is 300, nabili ko lang siya ng 100, tumubo na ako ng 200 pesos. So, hindi na si San Miguel yung kikita. Ako na yung kikita. Pero si Ninix sasabi nung price yan. Yan yung mga pag-aaralan natin sa mga susunod na lessons natin. Pero, uh, ang isang example lang dito, isipin mo lang, parang kung bibili ako ng San Miguel, in the next 5 to 10 years, kumikita ba siya? Uh, so, pag kumikita siya, Siyempre, more or less, dapat yung value niya tumataas, no? So, pag tumataas yung value niya, yun din yung reflection nung stock price niya. So, ngayon, uh, later, sigur, discuss natin uh, during the live part para at least mas maintindihan nyo kung paano yung pagbaba at saka pagtaas nung uh, share prices. Okay, so, as of now, tandaan lang na, ayan, meron pa pala. <laughs> the secondary market is where the original shareholders sell their shares to other investors. An investor can only make a profit when he can sell his share at a price higher than the purchase price. This market gives a continuous reflection of the value of securities at some point in time according to the best available information. Secondary markets include the stock exchange and over-the-counter market. Okay? So, uh, sabi dito, no, where the original shareholder uh, sell their shares to other investors. Kaya, yung halimbawa, no, ako yung initial na may are nung uh, isa ako dun sa mga primary yung parang ano ba yung nag-set up ng San Miguel isa ako for example isa ako nag-set up so during the IPO sabi natin at uh, 20% lang ibebenta natin kasi 80% meron pa tayo no and then after 10 years sobrang taas na ng value niya talaga dati initial public offering natin ay uh, 100 pesos lang after 10 years 10,000 na sa so eh, ang par value nung nag-start tayo piso lang Eh, meron pa akong 80% shares, no? So, pag binenta ko siya, ibibenta ko na yun sa secondary market, which is equivalent nga na, di ba, it will grow from piso, na yun naman talaga yung start niyan, to 10,000 pesos per share. Okay? So, sana hindi ko pa kayo na dilito. So, ito lang yung tatandaan natin. Sa primary versus secondary, ang primary market, yun yung start. Okay? Ibig sabihin, wala pa talaga nakakabentahan. So, yung main company nagbibenta, Ang tawag nun pag sa stock market, IPO or initial public offering. Okay, pag sa bond market na didiscuss natin sa ibang topics naman to, pero at least alam nyo lang, no, when you research, uh, galing din to sa primer, no, wait lang, check natin, ha? nandito pa ba siya? Uh, para at least ito ay galing sa, para lang uh, tama yung ano natin, no, uh, Philippine Bond Market Guide, okay? Uh, alam ko, ang nag-issue nito yung sa... ASEAN plus 3 bond market guide. Okay, so, yan, legit yung, <laughs> yung source natin. No? Ang, tawag dito, ang tawag dito ay through, uh, huh? yan, Bureau of Treasury. So, yung Bureau of Treasury, yung, dun, yung dun ka bumibili, no, nung initial public offering or initial, paano ba, bond issuance, no, pag sa bond market. Okay, so, pag secondary market naman, ito yung time na nakabili ka na, uh, hindi na sa company yung proceeds niya. So, pag sa stock market, stock exchange. Okay? Pag sa bond market, PDEX ang tawag natin or Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation. So, bigyan ko na kayo ng example no, sa bond market. So, during this uh, two to three months ago, uh, alam ko, two months ago, nag-issue ang BPI ng parang COVID bonds or parang care bonds no, to address na uh, uutang sila sa atin. So, Uutang sila sa atin, bibigyan tayo ng interest, and then yung nakuha nilang pera, ipapautang naman nila sa mga businessmen or sa mga uh, micro, small, and medium enterprises. No? So, alimbawa, example, nakalimutan ko na yung rate, eh, pero maliit lang ata, eh, parang 3%, 2%, no? hindi, hindi ko maalala, 2% ata, 1.75. Uh, 2%. Pero pag umutang yung negosyante sa kanila, ang charge nila, 8%, di ba? So, tumubo na sila ng 6%. So, yun yung example, no, ng primary. So, nung time na yun, pumunta ako sa, nagtanong ako sa BPI. <laughs> Pero 1 million pesos pala yung minimum. Kaya, hindi tayo nag-invest kasi wala namang 1 million si MWP, no? Uh, unlike sa stock market, uh, for example, last, uh, kailan ba to June or May, nag-IPO ang Mary Mart. So, Mary Mart nun, uh, kung di ako nagkakamali, pang pizza namin, no, tinray lang namin, uh, parang less than a thousand, less than a thousand, mga 1,000 pesos, o mga 1,000, oh, 1,000 pesos nga yung pinasok natin dun, kasi nagkikrave tayo sa pizza, IPO, 
nung nilaunch siya, nag-IPO siya, pumasok na siya sa secondary market, nabenta natin ng mga 1.44. So, tumubo tayo ng 400 in less than 10 minutes. So, example lang yun. Pero may mga time na hindi ganun. Uh, pero kung hindi ko pala siya binenta, on the first 10 minutes, eh, umakyat pa siya ng 2,000 pesos dapat. O, alam ko, nag-3,000 pesos pa siya kasi nag-3 pesos per share nun. Okay. So, example lang, bumili naman ako ng care bonds no ni BPI. So, gusto ko na siyang ibenta during that time. Didiscuss natin sa future lessons, no? How does it work yung pagtaas at saka pagbaba ng bond market, saka ng uh, stock market. Eh, hindi ko na siya i- pwedeng ibenta kay BPI, no? Ang tawag doon sa PDEX na doon ko na siya ibibenta, doon ko na siya ititrade. So, honestly, I haven't traded a bond yet. Uh, I was able, to, I can try a bond fund, no? Different discussion ulit to sa, didiscuss din natin yung mga bond uh, funds, no? Pero as of now, just for you to understand and to know, uh, parang uh, at least alam nyo lang, no? Pag sa primary market, pag sa stocks, IPO ang tawag. Again, don't forget that initial public offering. Pag sa, prime, uh, sa bonds, Bureau of Treasury. Okay? Pag sa secondary market, saan ba trade ng stocks? Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi na yung company mismo. Uh, ako at ibang tao na stock exchange ang tawag. Sa Philippines, isa lang ang stock exchange, Philippine Stock Exchange. Yun lang yung meron. Uh, unlike sa ibang bansa, bawat state, no, iba't ibang klase, o tatlo, lima uh, ang meron sa kanila. Sa bonds naman, if you want to trade, ang tawag dito, PDEX or Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation. Okay. So what is a stock market and the stock exchange? There are differences in their definition, but real concept of a stock exchange and stock market remains constant. Simply defined, a stock market is an organized activity involving the buying and or selling of securities done within a stock exchange. Okay. In a fundamental sense, a stock exchange brings buyers and sellers together. It is an organization whose function is to facilitate the purchase and sale of stocks and other securities. It is a market where investors can buy and sell securities after they have been offered in the primary market. Okay, check ko lang, no? Uh, okay, so, complicated. Ang sabi lang, ang stock market ay kung saan tayo pwedeng bumili at magbenta ng stocks, okay? Pwede naman talaga yun uh, sa labas. Kaya lang, uh, this is organized kasi, no? So, There's a Philippine Stock Exchange Corporation. It's it's a it's a company. It's uh ano ba? It's registered with the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, and it's regulated also. So uh, as of now, isa pa nga lang yung stock market natin. Hindi naman ganoon kadali uh, mag-create ka ng sarili mong stock market, no? So dito, dito para medyo complicated lang kasi no, parang feeling ko pag nung nagsisimula rin ako mag-trade, parang uy, stock market ano ba 'yan? Uh, parang kakaiba, 'di ba? Parang rich ka pag nag-invest ka sa stock market. Pero ang stock market is basically uh, or ang stock exchange ay basically kung saan ka lang bumibili at nagbebenta, bumibili at nagbebenta ng stocks, okay? So kung makikita niyo dun sa kung nakapag again, kung nakapag-open ka ng Instagram account mo, eh nung bumibili ka ng stocks na 'yon, uh, virtually no parang kung totoo yan, uh, ngayon kasi digital na, no? ibig sabihin, yun yung market, uh, digital market na siya, doon ka bumibili ng stock. So, yun yung, yung market na yun, yun yung tinatawag natin na stock exchange. Okay? Okay. Sana <laughs> hindi siya magulo. So, remember that the stock exchange is not, a, is not a capital raising mechanism. As part of the secondary market, kasi nga, yun yung secondary market, it is only ad- adjunct to the capital raising market or primary market. So, basically, Uh, ang ginagawa kasi ng companies, pag nag-IPO sila, kailangan nilang pera, magbibenta sila sa public ng IPO. Ngayon, once na, na IPO na siya, yung mga nakabili ng stock na yon o hindi nakabili, gustong bumili, dun na, dun na sila nagsusubastahan no, sa market. For example, uh, ikaw, uh, naka, ako nakabili ako ng San Miguel, pero ikaw, hindi ka nakabili. Pero gusto mong bumili, di ba? Kasi naubusan na eh, limited lang eh, di ba? Supply and demand, economics. So, sabihin natin na sa tingin mo tataas talaga yung value ng San Miguel. Sa tingin mo lang, di ba? Parang nanghula ka, oo, oh, pwedeng oo, oh, pwedeng hindi, pwedeng based on your computation. Uh, again, di-discuss natin in the future how do we compute for that. Pero sabihin natin, gusto mong bumili. Pero 100 pesos, again, yung kanina, no? 100 pesos sa example. Pero sabi mo, Harold, sir, bili ako ng ano, bili ako ng shares of stock ng San Miguel. Pero sabi ko, hindi, ayoko. Sabi, uh, sabi, sabi, sabi mo naman, sige sir, bilhin ko ng 105, di ba? Para tumubo na ako ng 5 pesos para mabenta mo na. Kasi feeling mo, tataas siya ng 200. E sasabihin ko, hindi, ayoko. Alam ko, tataas to eh. Gusto ko 120. Ayan, tapos sasabihin mo 115. Tapos sasabihin ko, eh, tumawad ka. Hindi, 150 na siya, di ba? 150 na siya. Pero, sabi mo, ayaw mo na. Sige, ayaw mo na. Pero merong isa, 
na kumagat. Sabi niya, sige sir, binin ko yan 150. So, yun yung next price niya. Dahil may bumili ng 150, alam naman may magbenta ng 140 ulit, no? Baka mamaya may gustong bumili at 160, at uh, 170. Pero pwedeng baliktad din naman, no? Pagdating ng 150, ay, masyado ng mahal yan. Tapos, ito may ari ng 150, kailangan na niya ng pera for whatever reason. Sabi niya, okay, sige, uh, bibenta ko siyang 150. Eh, walang nagbebent, walang gustong bumili. Kasi mahal na raw. Sige, bibili kayo 130. So, pag pumayag siya, nagkaroon ng deal, yun yung next price niya, 130 na. So, sana hindi siya magulo, pero uh, yung pag-capital raising ng company, nung kanina, no, sinabi natin sa bond at saka dun sa stock mark, uh, sa stocks, no, if, if it's true, uutang sila or ownership, yun yung sa primary. Pero, pag nasa secondary na tayo, kung saan nagpapalitan tayo ng stocks, o parang ako, nagtitrade, nag invest na ako, o ako na yung owner, nung may ownership na ako, yun na yung stock exchange o yun yung stock market. Okay, so the stock exchange and the stock market facilitate the flow. Nasabi ko na ba ito? Uh, okay, into investments by providing a ready-to-market uh, for the resale of securities. The inflow of funds in the stock market is one efficient way of directing a needed resource. In this case, money into a growing economy. As such, the stock exchange plays a key role in economic development by providing a centralized environment that brings together the demanders and suppliers of funds to make secure and fast transactions. Okay? So, uh, we are just organizing it. Kasi ang gulo naman, no? di ba? Kung naglalakad ako sa daan, tapos parang, uy, bumibili ka ba ng San Miguel? Di ba? Ang gulo nun. So, kaya inayos na lang natin na sa, sa stock market or sa stock exchange natin siya uh, gagawin or bibilin. And because of that, may mga nagpa-facilitate, may mga fees din yan na later di-discuss natin sino ba yung mga participants na, no? So, uh, before we go to the next topic about yung mga participants niya, uh, what is the over-the-counter market? So, may mga stocks of corporations kasi na not listed and therefore not traded in the stock exchange, but registered and licensed by the Securities and Exchange Commission for sale to the public. Uh, for sale to the public are only available in the so-called the over-the-counter market. So this market is not a specific organization, but another way of trading security. So OTC transactions are carried out by direct inquiries and negotiations among the buyers and sellers through the use of mail, telephone, telegraph, teletype, or other forms of communication. So pag, uh, pag yung stock no corporation na yan, hindi listed, uh, ibig sabihin, not traded, but registered and licensed by the security system for sale to the public. So, over the uh, over the counter market to. So, ibig sabihin, wala siya sa stock exchange, pero pwede mo siyang bilhin to the public. Yun yung pagkakaintindi ko, no? So, ang tawag doon ay over the counter. Okay? So, pwede rin kasi may mga private company, no? Na, pero hindi over the counter yung tawag doon, no? Uh, ito yung parang mga private, alam ba, may private company, gusto mo ibenta sa classmate mo na gusto niyang bilhin. Uh, iba naman yung tawag doon. Pero, kung corporation yan, ibig sabihin, may shares of stock din yan. Okay? Na bibilin mo. So, yun. Okay? So, what are the advantages of the stock market? So, the stock market is a better market for the trading of securities as opposed to the OTC uh, because of the following, no? So, syempre, uh, comparing ito over-the-counter uh, yung kakausami uh, pa yung company direct, di ba dito most accessible market through the offices of members, firms located everywhere, even in the prov provinces, stocks are available to millions of uh, people. So, especially now, na digital market, uh, uh, you can do online, no? Uh, virt virtual, ba tawag lang yan? Online. So, it's a ready market with a simple si simple phone call. An investor can buy and sell stock virtually within minutes. So, market transactions are done swiftly, conveniently, and at a fair price. So, ang maganda kasi dito, di ba, pag may transaction na nagawa, for for this sina uh, limbawa ngayon may na close na deal mag-update yon dun sa ticker o mag-update yon sa market so sabi oh ang bagong bentahan ngayon uh, 110 na so yung nag-usap na 108 iba na yon hindi, hindi yun nag-click eh kasi isa lang isang transaction lang at a time pero dati gaya dati di ba yung ewan ko kung inabutan niyo pa yung mga movies na gano'n. Yung may nagsisigawan, o oh, sige, bibili kayo 110, tenos. hindi, 108, tapos hanggat, hanggat ma-close. So, pag na-close yun, yun na yung new price niya. Pero ngayon, because of virtual na nga rin, because of technology, mas mabilis na siya. No? Ayan. Tapos ready market. Okay. So, the stock market uh, is also better because of liquidity. So, hundreds of different stocks are available to thousands of buyers and sellers and can readily be turned into cash due to the large number of market players. So, the o OTC market is generally much thinner or less liquid, which is more difficult to sell at a certain time in a 
failing market due to lack of buyers. So, uh, as of August 25, 2020, no, yung stock market natin, uh, stock exchange natin ay nag-trade ng 10.27 billion. Uh, noong 2019, according to the BSP, 1.77 trillion pesos ang na-trade uh, in terms of value no sa stock market natin. So, ito yung alam mo, yung pagkailangan mo na ng pera, uh, nandiyan yung money mo, uh, as, um, assuming na kumita ka, you can turn it into cash uh, as fast, as easy as possible, no? Kasi online lang siya. Pero syempre, in a falling falling market, pagpababa rin siya, eh lugi ka rin. So, hindi natin siya sabi dito na uh, pag nag-invest ka, yayamang ka kagad. Kasi pwede ka rin talagang malugi. Okay. So, sana okay pa kayo. Uh, yan. Okay. So, operates in a full public view. So, transactions and price data are readily available through newspapers, radio, television, information networks. Unlike the stock exchange, uh, the over-the-counter stock prices are not published daily in the newspaper, which makes it more difficult for an investor to keep track of his investment. So, later, di discuss natin yung mga investment theories, no? Uh, pero assumption natin, when you trade the stock market, eh, readily available yung information at kung ano uh, information na meron ka, it's the same with the public. Okay. So, who are the players in the market? So, number one, syempre, investors are the one who buy and sell securities in the hope of receiving dividend income and making a profit through capital appreciation. So, these buyers and sellers are not the only players in the stock market. Other persons or institutions ensure the stock market is a readily accessible, efficient, orderly, and transparent market. So, investors, yun yung nagbabuy and sell. Okay, so ano pa yung mga yun? Stock broker. So, anyone who wishes to buy shares of stock or bonds must have a stock broker. So, hindi pwede directly no so he acts as an agent or middleman between the investor and other buyers and sellers as an intermediary the stock broker executes orders for clients purchasing or selling the stocks on the stock exchange he's the only person or corporation authorized and licensed by the securities and exchange commission to trade in securities so my license po yan they're commonly known as members member broker or member firms of the philippine stock exchange so uh before, kailangan kasi para pansinin ka ng broker, no? parang 50,000 pesos, 100,000 pesos, 150,000 pesos. So ngayon, because of technology rin, you can open, uh, kung di ako nagkakamali, as low as 5,000 pesos uh, or 10,000 pesos. And you can trade, no? Uh, dahil nga digital na rin. Kasi before, kung kakausap ka ng broker, magkano lang komisyon, malit lang komisyon ng broker, parang uh, percent, uh, mga 1-2% lang yan, malit lang yan. Uh, Didiscuss na rin natin yan, no? when we get the details na. Pero, uh, hindi kanya papansinin. Kasi kung magbenta ka lang ng 1,000 pesos worth of uh, stocks, eh magkano lang komisyon niya? Piso, baka 50, uh, 50 cents, tas may tax pa siya. No? So normally, papansinin niya yung mga big uh, transactions, like millions. Pero because of technology, uh, because of digital na rin, no? uh, kumikita sila by you trading uh, through fees pa rin, pero hindi na nila ikaw kailangan ko usapin. At ikaw, okay na rin, no? Kung medyo introvert ka, pindutin mo lang yung computer, eh, buy, sell na yan. Okay? So, the stock exchange, this is the organization that oversees the transaction of the buyers and the sellers placed through the member brokers. Its professional management ensures that the market is efficient, fair, transparent, and orderly by enforcing enforcing its rules and regulations. So, in the future uh, discussion, we discuss natin may mga ano yan, uh, nang kay Mayork, uh, nung bakit siya, pagkabenta niya, biglang, hindi ako nagkakamali, nag-grow siya by 50%, 50% yung growth niya, eh, kailangan mag-trading halt, no, mas suspend siya. So, may ganun rules. So, di-discuss natin yan. Okay. Uh, transfer, transfer agent, last na, uh, last two na na to, no? When shares are purchased and transferred from the seller to the buyer, the transaction should be recorded in the stock books of the listed company. We record the complete shareholdings of each uh, stockholder of the company. But most companies have this record keeping done by a separate agency called the uh, transfer agent. Thus, when the transaction has been done, the details are kept in a ledger or record book by the company's transfer agent. As such, the transfer agent maintains the ledgers for each issuer company, showing the name and address of and the number of shares held by each registered stockholder. Another function of a transfer agent which is either a commercial bank or trust company, is to cancel old certificates, issue new certificates, and change the names of the certificates into the buyer's name when the shares have been sold. Okay. So, tandaan mo na dito, no? Ang transfer agent, siya yung nagtatransfer. 
<laughs> from seller to the buyer. Uh, kasi normally, nung unang panahon, may mga stock certificate pa yan. So, animbawa, uh, may ganito ka, nakalagay, uh, stock certificate, San Miguel, pangalan ko, Harold Gordon, ito yung number of shares na meron ako. Uh, Siyempre, pag binenta ko siya, sa, nimbawa, kay Juan de la Cruz, kailangan, bibigay ko sa kanya yung stock certificate, tapos papalitan yun, no, ng pangalan niya. Pero ngayon, hindi na po ganun, kasi nga, again, digital na, tsaka, so, uh, nung unang panahon kasi, syempre, matrabaho, no? Kung everyday, palit-palit yan, magulo. So, kaya may transfer agent, okay? Yung last is the clearing house. When a transaction has been made, the seller, through his stock broker, has to deliver the stock certificate to the buyer, who in turns order his stock broker to pay for the shares purchase. So, this seems to be an easy process, but considering the thousands of transactions executed every day and the nearly 200 stock brokers involved, broker-to-broker -broker payments and delivery of certificates would become complicated. So, to facilitate transactions and make the market more orderly, all payments by all stock brokers are done to the, a centralized institution called, called the clearing house okay thus all stock brokers will make payments to and receive payments from the clearing house for purchases and sales they have made for their clients at the same time all stock certificates will be delivered to and obtained from this central institution so yung clearing house dito nagpapalitan ng pera ganun lang po siya kasi okay doon nagpapalitan ng pera uh, kaya kung makikita nyo may mga brokers fees may mga taxes and everything syempre babayaran mo rin itong mga tanong so yung transfer agent siya yung nagtatransfer ng shares okay from the seller to the buyer, nagpapalit ng pangalan, ng certificate. Uh, yung clearing house, yun yung nakiklear ng pera. No? Okay, sige, uh, binayad mo na, tapos mapupunta na dun sa, pe dun sa seller yung pera niya. Okay, okay? So hopefully, ayun, uh, last 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 na last na promise okay so a listed company a corporation that offers and lists its shares in the stock exchange is called a listed company or issuer a listed company is also known as a publicly owned company so wag niyo kalimutan yun, no? listed company publicly owned company or a public company so public oh, normally plc publicly listed company okay publicly owned company publicly listed company listed company Okay, in view of the fact that its shares were sold to the investing public. So these are companies that raised their required funds through such issuance of securities to the public. The capital raised provide, provides the company with the necessary fund to be invested in business facilities and equipment. An issuing, com an issuing company becomes a listed company whose shares are traded in the stock market after it has met the strict listing requirements imposed by the stock exchange. So, Basically, basta yung company mo nakalist sa stock market, uh, pwede siyang i-trade sa stock market, a listed company yun. Kasi pwedeng may private company, again, yung sasabi mo kanina, pwedeng may company ka dyan, may corporation kayo, pero hindi naman kayo natitrade ng public, no? Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pa listed company or public company. Uh, hindi rin po ganun kadali na makapag pa list no sa stock market kasi may rules din yan no di discuss na lang natin yan sa mga future discussion. Pero as of now, uh, hopefully nagkaroon kayo ng idea about the stock market, no? Uh, about the financial markets, hindi lang sa stock market, about the financial markets in the Philippines, the bond market, the stock market, the we focused on the stock market. So hopefully, na again, na open mo ni Investagram uh, virtual account mo. I, I'm not earning anything from that, pero yun kasi yung pinakamadali ngayon na hindi mo kailangan magbayad, tapos nandun na lahat, no? So after nito, uh, I'll give you 38 minutes na yung nakain ko, no? So I'll give you additional 10 minutes, uh, before lalabas yung exam. So, upload ko rin tong material na to. So, at least pwede mo siyang ma-review. And then, after that, yan, dali na lang yan. So, sa, sa, na, hindi ka babagsak. So, lalabas yung exam. I'll give you another 10 minutes and then we'll discuss uh, live na. Okay. So, hopefully, listan nyo lahat ng questions nyo. So, para mamaya, isa-isa uh, natin siyang i-discuss. So, thank you guys for watching and see you later.